That's odd behavior. That's very odd. I've never seen so many crows up there. It's like, I don't know, six, seven o'clock? I don't know what time it is. It's stopped raining. She's on. Hi, Chris. I wonder what they're saying. Well, I know what I was just thinking, but it's personal. <laughs> Maybe I'm in luck tonight. Have you seen that Alfred Hitchcock movie, The Birds? I saw it when I was a little kid and it was creepy, but I wasn't scared. But I don't like like indoor budgies if they're flying around. It's like, no, nah, keep your bird to yourself, thanks. So apparently crows can see, I think, in two or three different dimensions. So we can only see in the third dimension. It's called quantum or something. I don't know how many are up there. It'd be interesting to count. Melbourne 2021 Who would have thought, hey? Can you see a phone tower from your house? I can see two a Telstra one and an Optus one with Vodafone on it And the ones with the drums on, they're the most dangerous. There's a big one in Maribyrnong. They're very quiet now. I don't think the police have heard the bird call yet. I wonder how long the echo will take. Well, it's their problem, isn't it? Now we just got to get a team of people to help. Who's into strategy stuff? Have you read the book, um, the Art of War by Teo Tzu or something, I don't know his name.
I just feel so powerfully protected by all my spirit team. Like, I just feel, yeah, protected. That's how we should all feel. So many don't feel protected. People say to me, how could you live on a bus? How could you live in a bus on council land? Like, don't you get scared? And I'm like, no, how is it different to living in a house? Like, are you prepared if the, a burglar comes into your house while you're there? Oh, they wouldn't do that. I'm like, you're saying they're gonna do it to me? Oh yes, but they would. And I'm like, well, are you prepared if they do? Oh no, my husband will be there. I'm like, what if he's not home? Oh, well, and then, yeah, people in houses, they're not, they're not prepared. If you had a roof leak, if your tiles fell in and you had water pouring in your lounge room, how would you deal with that? Well, the first thing I'd do is get a green wheelie bin, like the rubbish bin. Like people just don't, they get towels and buckets and, uh, when you live like this, it's just so much simpler and easier. They're getting noisy again. They didn't want me to talk. I wonder if there's equal boys and equal girls. When the babies are growing up and they're almost finished being fed by mum and dad, they look bigger than the mum and dad because they've got all heaps of fluffy... Yeah, it's interesting to watch. Oh, and they whinge, like, come on mum, come on mum. I feel sorry for mum. And it's interesting while they're all up there, there's no other sort of bird up there, just crows. I wonder what would happen if another bird went up there, or would they? Something's going on. There's some people. They're sort of like chanting. Hi. I've never heard these crows like this before, ever. Never ever in four and a half years. I don't believe this, I haven't heard them either. I don't know why they'd be doing that, do you? Oh, change of weather, who knows? Breeding, got no idea. No idea. They seem happy. It's odd behaviour. It's very odd. Maybe there's something stopping that's made encouraging them to come. About half went. I stepped on a mouse once, like last summer, and I had bare feet and I felt it squish. 
Uh, and then like within a minute, Crow had come and taken it. All right, that'll do.